it's good to have your chocolate warm so that it just comes right out. Okay, because you don't want to give yourself little strips like that. And you take your thermometer and you're going to pull it through. Pull it through. Pull it through. You continue this process all the way through the cup. And you come back through the other way, into the center, in the center like that. Just like that. All right, so if you try to make a design and it doesn't work out, you can always correct it with some etching. That's kind of the barista's eraser, you know, with a little etching. But we're going to try this again and see if we can get some, some free pour latte art out here for you. Again, the first thing you do is you start with your shots of espresso. I set them on top of the espresso machine so they get hot, but you can also pour hot water into them from your Americano water there. But it's, it's good to have preheated cups so that when you pour your espresso into them, if you don't get to it right away, it's not going to go, you know, the, you're not going to lose your crema and things like that. And that's important that you have good crema when you're making your... Okay. The texture of milk we're looking for is a very glossy, creamy, no bubbles. It almost looks like paint, white paint. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Uh, that's what's going to give you your best latte art. All right, and now I'm going to do a technique, uh, which is going to make it a little easier to texturize your milk. I'm going to pour this milk into this pitcher. It's going to kind of loosen up that foam a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pour it back. And I'm going to pour some of that heavy foam off. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to try to make a rosetta here. I'm going to start right in the front. I'm going to push to the back. Now, you can use the second half of your milk, but I don't have a whole lot of milk here, so when you see, see what you got left, it's going to be a lot thicker, and these cups are a little bit bigger than these, so you might not want to do this in your cafe, but you know, if you transfer that espresso to there with a smaller cup, you're going to have a little bit better luck. You can see how much thicker that foam is than the first set of foam we used because it was that heavy foam we poured off the first time okay so when you're when you're using two different pitchers it's good to use a little smaller cup so you've got a little bit easier foam to work with when you're pouring your milk so we're going to get into a little bit bigger cup like this and we're going to use just one pitcher for that so we don't run into a problem like this okay 